Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back to a brand new video. Jedi Survivor um, is a great game. Uh, uh, the game is officially five months old. Um, and so in this video, we're going to be going over Jedi Survivor and how I stand on it five months later. Is the exploration still key? How good is customization still? How good is the gameplay? How good is all this after many patch updates and after many different touches added to this game throughout five months? How does it still stand after that April 28th release of this year? And is it truly still my favorite game of the year? We're going to be going after all these questions in this video. Uh... I'm not going to be going over the story. You don't have to worry about that. However, I do have a full story review. So if you guys want to go check that out, I have it up on my channel. So uh, while you're there, you might as well click that little subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Uh, like I said, I'm not going over really any spoilers in this video. So totally spoiler-free thoughts uh, five months later after Jedi Survivor. So grab a drink, grab a snack. This is really going to be a fun video, um, I feel. It's been a minute since I've uploaded. I just thought I could, you know, give back to the community. Um, so here's my stance on Jedi Survivor five months later. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, truly enjoy today's video. I think the, the first thing I wanted to go over is the combat, the gameplay of the game. Does it still hold up? And I think it does. I think compared to Jedi Fallen Order, the gameplay is... A much bigger improvement um and you know five months of just kind of messing around with uh, everything it, it's still a very good system i i haven't really ran into any problems i like all the stances equally i think my favorite is probably cross guard i think cross guard is the most overpowered it just does take a lot of getting used to i feel um but other than that cross guard is so good i also love split saber i really just love every stance in this game so if you're worried about the stances um it definitely still holds up uh, especially you know five months later of just playing around with it i've gotten super used to it now um i think it's just a super clean system that i really like i give gameplay overall a nine out of ten i think it's perfect i don't think there's really much wrong with it uh, but there's a couple of things stopping me from giving it a 10 out of 10. Um, I think the blaster stance could be a little bit better. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I was super excited to use the blasters in the game. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to use. But there are just some times where if I'm like at like picking stances, I'm not going to pick up the blaster stance. I, it, it, for me, it was just underwhelming. That's the only reason why it's stopping me from giving it a 10 out of 10 the blaster stance it's a cool idea you hit enemies to gain more ammo for your blaster uh it's a very cool system uh it's weird it was weird when i first used it but then i got used to it it's cool it's a bit underwhelming but i lived with it and i worked with it i didn't think it was all that terribly bad Exploration is probably the biggest uh, topic we are going to be talking about in this video. How is exploration? How is the open world in this game? Because that was one of like the main like driving points when they were promoting this game was the exploration. Um, there's a lot of planets to explore. Uh, now, I will say this might be a controversial pick. It might be a controversial take, but I don't think the planets are as good as they were in Fallen Order. As much as I hate to say it, I kind of miss Zepho. <laughs> uh, but there's a lot to have. There's there's a lot to to have when you're exploring around the world, collecting shards, collecting chests, interacting with NPCs, doing side quests. There is a lot more to do in this game. That is one thing that I wasn't a fan of in Fallen Order. Was I just kind of felt that in Fallen Order, I was kind of only locked into one place, and they promoted it as an open world game, but it just didn't feel like I was able to explore much. And that was definitely one thing that I think that was like their heavy like implication is, hey, we are going to go in and we're going to fix the exploration. We're going to make the exploration good. And they did. The exploration is key. Explore. Um, if you saw my tips video that I uploaded a couple a couple months back, is, is I said wait to explore until you finish the main story. Because there's just a lot of, th a lot of things... When you explore, you can't get unless you unlock certain abilities from the main story. Like, there's puzzles that you can't 
do unless you have like the lift and slam fe- uh, feature that you unlock in the story. Uh, and that's not necessarily a problem. I'm not like promoting that as a problem. I think exploration is the strongest part of this game other than the story. But like I said, we're not going over the story in this video. Exploration's great. I give exploration an overall 10 out of 10. Um, I think overall, um, if you really truly want an open world Star Wars game, Jedi Survivor might be a pick for you. Simply because there's so much to do. There's a lot of chests to unlock. There's a lot of shards to buy at like Doma Shop and stuff. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of vendors. I really like the exploration in this game. It's a 10 out of 10 overall. Uh, this next uh, part I wanted to kind of go over the, the main issues uh, I've ran in with the game over these past five months. Uh, and, and one of the, the major issues is the game still struggles to maintain its 60 frames. And I know that that has been a huge, like, thing since launch. But it's so noticeable. Especially in the story when there's a lot happening on your screen. Like, there's a lot of big action sequences in the main story. And you just see the frames dropping rapidly. And I've maybe played this game, like, four times in all, all four of my playthroughs. I've noticed it. Uh... I mean, they keep saying, they keep dropping patches, and they're like, I'm going to fix this, we're going to fix that, we're going to do all of this. And then when you update it, and, and then you play it, it's still not fixed. And that's the same, is this game has probably crashed on me over 20 plus times. All of these, like, major issues that they just have not yet fixed. Another big, I'm um, not a huge issue, but another issue I had is there's been not a single content update. If you kind of remember... A couple years back, Fallen Order had this like massive update where you could use the Inquisitor outfit and you could run, play the whole game using Cal's Inquisitor outfit. They added meditation challenges. They added all these cool things in Fallen Order. And I get they're only five months in, so they'll probably they probably have something cooking. Like there's an outfit. I guess this is like a minor spoiler to the main story, but there's like a an outfit that you get, you wear this Imperial outfit, um, in the story that a lot of people kind of wanted to keep because it looked cool, but you didn't. So I hope that if they do a content update, then maybe we might get to use it, get to keep it. I don't know how they would do that. We're about to get into customization here in just a minute. So I wouldn't be mad if they didn't do that just because customization is so cool in this game. But overall, these are just some uh, issues I've kind of ran in into the main game. Other than that, the game is great. Um, I think I just think that it's it does struggle a ton. It is a massive game, so I can see why it struggles a bunch, but these are just some minor issues I've ran into. Uh, so the next big thing I want to dive into is customization. Yes, the moment you guys have all probably been waiting for. Does customization still hold up? Do I still love it as much as I did when the game first came out? Absolutely, freaking lootly this is probably my favorite part of the entire game. The main issue with Fallen Order was the only thing you could do was the ponchos and the mantis, and you could maybe customize the under outfit that Cal wore. Kind of like the jacket and stuff. That was it. You couldn't do anything with his hair. You couldn't make him have a beard. You couldn't, like do anything else you had to continue wearing the scrapper clothing and i'm so happy that fallen or, or that jedi survivor decided to take a different approach and actually give us good customization customization 10 out of 10 i'm gonna get that out of the way already you can literally wear the scrapper outfit in this game but why would you do that when you could make i've literally made so many customization videos if you guys want to help go watch those there's so much things you can do in this game with customization that I love so much, and I still do to this day. That has never been an issue. I've never complained once about customization. I love how they brought the ponchos back. I love everything that this game had in store for customization going around. And this all goes back to to to, to exploring, collecting chests to get more things to upgrade. Go to Doma Shop, buy things, do the hollow tactics. They'll give you some rewards. Everything that this game did it did right with its customization. I love 
the customization in this game. You don't even know. You really just don't know how much I love the customization. You give me a game that has great customization, kind of like Red Dead Redemption, oh, I'm going to love it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat that up and I'm going to love it so freaking much. And I think the customization is definitely the strongest or the second strongest aspect in this game. And I know that was one of the big major things that they wanted to pinpoint in this game was the massive change in how you can customize Cal and even BD and even the lightsabers and the blasters. Everything is so great about the customization. Yeah, so overall, five months later, I think Jedi Survivor is still a great Star Wars game. And if you have yet to play or pick up Survivor, um, either it's because you you don't have a PS5, and I know that they're they're doing a PS4 version, which will be very interesting to see on that place. It's still so good. I think to this day, it is my second favorite Star Wars game right behind Battlefront 2. I think that this is genuinely the perfect game for Star Wars fans. I think that the story is a 10 out of 10. I think, like I said, the customization is a 10 out of 10. There's only like a couple minor issues. Even, even the frame drops don't even take away the overall immersive experience that you're going to to withstand in Jedi Survivor. Five months later, this game is still a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I think overall, this is a perfect game for Star Wars fans. Uh, so, it's been five months, and you still haven't picked up this game. Pick it up, play it, mess around with the customization. You're going to be in for a great time, and I would do anything to go back and play this game for the first time all over again.